Hello! I am so excited to show you guys what I've been working on. I slightly regret having not filmed uh, the beginning stages of it, but I was like not sure how it was gonna come out, so I just needed to like not have a camera on and just like work through it. So, but I'm going to show you. But first, a little preface. Um, this is for my sister and her husband, so they just had their baby and they commissioned me to make their baby mobile and I'm so, I'm so happy, I'm so excited. So I decided, uh, they're into like similar things as me, so they were thinking like, oh, if you could do like little woodland creatures or just little plants or something, something simple, something woodlandy, you know um simple colors and everything kind of earthy colors and so i decided on snails because my sister really likes snails i like snails so let me show you them so also this is needle felting i don't know if you guys have heard of it but it's essentially you take like wool and then you poke it with uh these kind of little needles hopefully you guys aren't scared of needles but little trigger warning i guess if you're afraid of needles um because i'm gonna be showing you some needle felting so slight trigger warning i guess uh but so you take these little needles and they're not like normal needles because they have like little notches cut into them and they're able to felt the wool together and like essentially mat it so like if you have pets like a cat or a dog and they're forever gets matted like it gets all woven together that's kind of what you're doing with the wool so i made these little snails oh please focus on him please focus come on yeah little snails so i got this guy i made three i'm gonna have three little snailies come on don't focus on me focus on the snailies this little guy. I'm gonna have three little snailies hanging, and then I'm going to come on. <laughs> Keep losing my train of thought because I'm trying to have this focus on him. I think it was there for a second, but yeah, you get the gist. So, three little snailies. They're going to be hanging from an embroidery hoop. I think this is just a 10 inch, yeah, 10 inch embroidery hoop. I'm not going to use the outside part, just the inside. Uh, and then I'm going to have little balls, little like spheres, because that's really common. I looked at Pinterest for uh, baby mobile uh, inspiration kind of thing. And um, <clears throat> while my sister and I were looking at some, we found a lot of these little like felted spheres and so I'm gonna be hanging a bunch of these around but I made them look like little tried to at least make them look like little fruits or something you know something that snails would like to eat so I'm gonna hang little fruits I've made a few a few let me grab the others Ooh. so like a few felted spheres but they take a really long time so I actually found at Michael's, sorry, it's really crinkly. Found at Michael's just a whole bunch of pre-felted ones. So I'm just going to hopefully be able to add the little, um, I don't know, belly button of the fruit. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, <laughs> just to make them look like little berries and stuff, you know, something that like little woodland berries. Uh, so I'm gonna have those just kind of suspended around the little snailies and then I'm also gonna have some little leaves cut out with just felt. I might embroider on them, might not, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I went to Michael's today to pick that up. I also picked up more wool um, and then I also <laughs> picked up some little finger covers hopefully they help because i learned the snails are fine because they're large enough that i really didn't poke myself while working with them but since the spheres are small it's like you poke yourself pretty easily not gonna lie so yeah 
Hopefully that doesn't ruin my dexterity too much, but they're just little finger protectors because I'd rather have less dexterity, but my fingers are protected than stab my fingers because that hurts. It, it hurts. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, but yes, I am so excited. I hope some of that was coherent and just not all utter nonsense because I'm so excited that I cannot explain things well right now. <laughs> but I am going to get into middle felting a few of these guys. I'm also going to show you like putting it together. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be talking or if it's going to be more montagey. Probably more montagey because I need to like try to focus, but let's get into super excited because these snails are, I'm like I don't want to I don't want to like boost myself up too much but like I'm pretty proud of these snails like I think he's freaking adorable I don't know what just clicked <laughs> but oh, isn't he precious and they're so cute like I just I feel bad for having not recorded them now because like recorded making them now because I'm like really proud with how they came out essentially I made if you know anything about needle felting I just rolled the ooh, the sun is shining all of a sudden I just kind of rolled the wool around a chopstick um, into like a kind of cone shape so like if you think of like the shape of an ice cream cone just a little elongated and then I just swirled that and then just needle felted it into place kind of thing. So that's how I got the shell. And before I like swirled it, I like had put the green little stripies on them first. So yeah. And then the snail body was just kind of like trial and error. I made them all kind of differently. So they all look a little different, but I think they're really sweet together. So with them hanging around with little berries, I hope that's going to be cute. I'm thinking of doing for the, for hanging them, I'm going to have six strings coming from the hoop and maybe like one from the center because it's obviously going to have the strings like kind of come to a point all together so you can like actually hang it. And so I think from that middle point, I'm gonna have one going down the center as well. But so from the outer ones spaced out, three of them are gonna contain the little snails and then the rest are gonna be just filled with the little, the little fruit seeds, the little fruit spheres. So yeah, let's get into it because I wanna make some spheres even though it's tedious, but now I have this bag. I'm obviously not gonna use all the colors because there's some really, really bright ones. Um, I don't know. I like a lot of the colors though, so we'll see. But I'm probably gonna have to make some bigger ones too because I like this size, but none of them are quite that big. So I might have to make some bigger ones because I want some bigger ones, some smaller ones, you know? Boop, boop. Just hanging about. Yeah. I'm super excited. Let's get into it. Ooh, also, um, I just saw this on my desk, so I wanted to explain because you're gonna see it. I've been felting on top of just a simple dish sponge. <laughs> Some people use like styrofoam, but I have a little styrofoam block and I found that it compresses way too quickly, like as you're like poking into it because you go through your work sometimes and it just like loses its substance and it just compresses way too easily. So this is standing up a little bit. The center is getting a little soft, but it's standing up better than the styrofoam. So ideally I would have one of those like big yellow sponges, you know, like my mom and I, when we would wash our cars uh, just at home, we would like have these big yellow sponges and that's what we would use on the car. I was hoping I had one of those, but I have not found one. So we're using a kitchen sponge. <laughs> so let's go.
So quick little update. I finished all the spheres and then I decided I wanted to try to figure out the layout. So I put little pieces of tape on my um, desk. It'll make sense when I turn you around. And I decided to try to lay everything out. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you. Grab my viewfinder. Hopefully that wasn't too nauseating for you guys. So I have little pieces of masking tape laid out and I did a little trial layout of all the little guys. Let's see if I can get it all in frame. There we go. Okay, so there's gonna be six around the outside and then one hanging down the middle, which I believe which I plan on being this guy. And so this one will end up being right behind that one because it's gonna obviously go in a circle you know so that is how that's looking and now i have this green piece of felt those are the ones i didn't use plus the other colors like the purples that i decided to go against just keeping with a kind of almost primary color scheme with uh green as an added little bonus so yeah Looking really cute. I'm really happy with it. So now I'm gonna cut out some little leaves. Um, this green felt actually thankfully matches really nicely with uh, this little snail right there. So yeah, I'm gonna cut out some little leaves. Not every single one is gonna have leaves, but I wanna make some. So yeah, I'm gonna make some little leaves for the little fruits. So that's what we're gonna do next. I could have my Cricut cut them out. Flip you around. Oh, I can't see myself. No idea if I'm in frame. There you go. I could have my Cricut cut them out, but since they're going to be pretty small leaves, I'm thinking I, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to try to cut them out myself. Um, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, let's do that. I don't really know how I'm going to attach them. I wonder if I could felt them on. We'll see. So I just tried to felt it on and it actually worked. Look at how cute. So I took like a little tiny bit of this green that matches really well with this felt and I like took a little ball of it and put it underneath the leaf and then felted it on and it's, it's on there. Ha ha ha. Yay. I'm so happy that that worked. So now we get to do the rest. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna put a leaf on all of them because I think that would be just too much. Maybe just on the yellows or like, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what I decide, but I'm so happy that that worked. So I'm gonna cut out some more leaves. Alrighty, I hope the lighting isn't too atrocious. My camera is having a really hard time focusing right now. Um, it might be because it's like nine o'clock in the evening and it is dark outside. Um, so hopefully lights are okay, we'll see. But I just threaded my first section. Yeah. So I am using just some like thick embroidery floss uh, and then for the bottom let's see if I can get it to no we're not gonna focus I don't know what the heck my camera is focusing on it's not even focusing on my face oh man okay oh there we go yeah so you see that little dot that's like I knotted the bottom 
and then tucked the end of the knot like the end of the string into back into the little fruit so there's that i made sure to give it like a lot of extra length because just in case because when i'm like attaching it to the embroidery hoop i want to make sure that i have like enough wiggle room to make sure all of them kind of hang even or if i want them to hang uneven i can do that too uh, i just want to have like room to play and i used uh one of these really long needles oh my camera i don't know what the heck i if i like changed a setting or something i don't know mm. well the string just fell out of it but just a really long needle there we go so it is just a i have a bunch of them they're like different thicknesses different lengths but got a bunch of them Ooh. there we go and they are called doll needles oddly enough by dritz come on you can do it camera i believe in you i want to focus on my face there we go doll needles so that's what I'm using, just to make it a little easier to get through the entire fruit and everything. The entire sphere, fruit, you know. But I'm going to continue to do this. Uh, I love how that took me almost three minutes to just explain. But I'm gonna keep on doing this. For the little snails, because they're heavier and I don't know how well they're gonna stay, because I didn't put little knots under each fruit. Um, they're just, they can move if, you do shift them but they stay by themselves but for the little snails I'm thinking of doing this might be a little hard to like visualize but I'm thinking of doing like a little loop just separate a, a loop of string and then when I go through with the entire length I'm just gonna catch that loop on the top and the bottom just so it doesn't slide around hopefully that like makes sense in my brain, but I don't know if it's going to work. So pretty much my camera is not going to want to focus on this. Maybe if I bring it super close, come on. Ooh, close. There we go. So pretty much I measured my ring um, and then divided that by six and drew these little lines where a string is gonna be so that they'll be equally distributed around the ring. Yeah. Because we have, there's gonna be, there's gonna be six strings around the edge and then one coming down the middle. That's the plan at least, so. Ooh, I'm sorry little fake plant, but I am going to steal this little hanger from you to use to hang my mobile while I work on it. Sorry, little guy. Okay, I really hope this idea works to hang this from these. Just so I can work on it until I make the actual hanger for it. Hey! You can't really see it, but that works. Yay! Cool. Okay. I grab some clothespins to hang the strings from because I want to get a feel. I want to get a feel for how long I need to have them be and everything. Like, do I want to have them be all ending at the same length? Do I want them to be ending at different lengths? I'm not really sure. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to be pre-planning. 
So I got some clothespins. Look how windy! <laughs> hey. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so happy with how this turned out. Yay! It was kind of a, like tricky to put together the top part of it, but so I had to do a lot of that off camera. But I'm so happy that it's done, and I hope they love it. Yay! Little snails. <laughs>